Hello and welcome in that studio guide on the second basic part of Kara Studio. In this video we gonna select a map, place our first character, and learn how to use the camera so let's get started. To start up a basic scene, click on add and then map to select a map. Using the mouse and left click you can rotate around the camera point. Using right click you can go up, down, forward and backward and using both click allow you to move the point. You can also use arrow keys and combined with shift to move faster. Now click on add, and boy or girl to place your first character. Find the one you want and click on confirm. If the axis button is turned on, you can now move your character by using the guides on it. One for each axis and the gray cube for all. On the bottom, you can also select the mode the translation, the rotation, and scale mode. But the best is to use W, E, and R. To end up this guide, we're gonna see more advanced camera control. Depending on your keyboard layout, if you press period, backslash, or slash, you can tilt the camera and reset it. If you press equal, right bracket, or semicolon. You can change and reset the camera FOV. Alternatively, you can use the I button next to cameras as well for those controls. Side note, the I button is from a mod that might not be in the HF patch. Else you can also press F2 to open the studio shortcut menu. Or, if you bring up the F1 menu and search for KK, underscore studio keybinds. You can edit the shortcut here. Now that you know all of that, to save a scene you can just press Control plus S or go in the system menu and click save. You can also load up scenes from here if you click on load. You can click on the open current folder button to bring the explorer there. You can also load scene files from the explorer by drag and dropping the PNG file into the Kara Studio window. You can also organize them in the OS Explorer using folders. If it doesn't refresh, click the Refresh Scene button. That should sum up for that guide. Have fun!